Hello there everybody and welcome to this video where I will be talking about Newton's third law of motion. So what is Newton's third law of motion? Newton's third law, law of motion is for every action there is an equal opposite reaction. If you do not understand what this means, here is an example. You walk into your kitchen, make a snack, and sit down on a chair so you can sit down and eat at the same time. You may not think of it, but your body is putting force down onto the chair, and you can trust the chair not to break. However, the question is, why doesn't the chair break every time when we sit on it? Well, thanks to Newton's third law, we know that when we sit on a chair, we apply force to it, and the chair applies an equal force back to us, so we do not break the chair. Another thing about this law is that it has a few keywords that are worth explaining. These keywords are force, balanced force, and unbalanced force. I will explain these words to you and show you examples. So let's start with the first word, force. According to Google, a force is a strength or energy as an attribute of physical action or movement. Here's an example. Let's say you're next to a bomb. Not the best choice, but whatever. And let's say supposedly the bomb explodes. Depending on how big the bomb is, the force that comes off the explosion would blow you back. It's the same way if someone pushed you. If someone pushes you hard enough, you'll fall back due to the force of the push. The second key word that plays into Newton's third law of motion is balanced force. This one is pretty much self-explanatory. It's the balanced force between two objects. An example for this is when you play a place a brick on a table and the table does not break. Wait. As I was saying, what I meant to say was, if you place a brick on a table and the table does not break, then the brick and the table have a balanced force between them. The reason why there is a balanced force between the two objects is because the table can apply as much force to the brick as the brick does to the table. So, let's get on to the final word. The final key word that represents Newton's third law of motion is unbalanced force. An unbalanced force is a force that causes motion to an object. An example of this is when you push in your chair. You're you're applying a force to the chair that is a un that is <coughs> What I meant to say was an example of this is when you push your chair in. <clears throat> You're applying a force to the chair that is unbalanced because the chair doesn't stay in place. The reason the chair doesn't stay in place is because you're applying more force than the chair can push back, which is why you can push your chair in at the dinner table. Now, after all this information, I had only really one question about this law. What is it? I didn't know anything about physics. Thankfully, this information helped me learn that this law is about force and how much we can push things and how much another object can deliver force back to us. And I'm so glad I could answer this question because it just confuzzled me so much. Thank you for watching this and I'm sorry that it was so terrible. <laughs> oh, goodbye. See you soon.